I think without a doubt, the, the top thing on the Turkish foreign policy agenda now is uh, handling the situation in Syria. It has direct repercussions for the number of people Turkey is hosting, uh, four million refugees. Uh, it's a direct security threat uh, at the border. There are military active on the other side of the border. And not uh, to forget also economically, uh, they're cut off uh, from large markets because of, uh, for many years, for what goes on in Syria. Um, the Turkish government uh, uh, is a long-standing member of uh, NATO. The, uh, uh, we all know uh, that no other security organization in the world can provide meaningful security to the Turkish Republic in the same way that, that NATO does, so there is no alternative. What Turkey goes to NATO for is uh, uh, saying they uh, deliver soon uh, the 2% and hope for others to do the same. But at the same time, they ask for uh, perhaps uh, more uh, empathy and more understanding for the security threats, including from terrorist organizations and those whom Turkey called terrorist organizations in, uh, uh, from their NATO partners. There are many areas of cooperation conflict between uh, Europe. We try to push them a little more towards cooperation and then try to handle those which are perhaps more conflictual cooperation. Uh, but front and center at uh, these days are, of course, the uh, are of course the handling migration issues. Uh, Turkey uh, is hosting uh, four million refugees, and we have an understanding between Turkey and the European Union uh, on how to handle the uh, the situation. So that's uh, front and, and center. On a very positive side is uh, is also the possibilities that are now being discussed about enhancing the customs union between the European Union and Turkey.